All right, climbing device number two, watch out for the underlay. This is gonna be a critical piece in your journey. Um, the underlay, if you're not familiar with it, is all the internet lines, uh, the MPLS, the LTE, everything that goes together uh, to make your SD-WAN journey successful or just uh, utter failure or will drive you crazy, um, which it does a lot because you have to work with these people called the telcos and uh, working with them doesn't really improve. Next click, it actually, it gets worse. Uh, because instead of dealing with just one telco, you're dealing with, I think in my case, about 20 of them. <laughs> and it's like herding cats. Um, and you can have a situation where you have multiple telcos in a mall, uh, and then you're also dealing with situations in the mall to get a line installed. It, it can be a very painful thing. So let's go to the next slide here. So transport options. These are some of the reasons why it's very important to pay attention here. MPLS, you can use MPLS. You can use internet. Um, next, managed service provider is another one. Uh, just having a managed service provider doesn't make things easier because you have to manage them now. Um, internet only is an option too, uh, but internet only changes whether it's CenturyLink, AT&T, uh, Verizon, Comcast, Spectrum, global something or other. There's so many of these guys out there and it's, it's all territorial. Um, you also have a choice to go hybrid, so you can throw all of this together um, and do all of the above. My recommendation here is click, get a Sherpa. <laughs> go out, interview a bunch of people, interview a bunch of companies that are competent in this area and pick one. Um, it will save your life. I can tell you that uh, even today, uh, I was dealing with a situation in a new uh, uh, location we have in Charlotte. Um, we installed an internet line, thought we were good to go, got it up and running, DSL, found out that we could only get a VPN out of it. We're like, that's strange. We got the VPN, the VPN's connected back to the data center. Why can't we browse out? This is really strange. And dived a little bit further into it, found out that um, in order to get to the internet, you needed to click uh, uh, basically a, a user license page or uh, acceptable use page. Well, how do you do that in SD-WAN? You can't. So every time we tried to browse, hit this button. Basically had to call the provider and say, come on guys, <laughs> this is connected to an SD-WAN device. Um, you'll encounter strange little issues like that. If you can provide or you can find a really good company that really knows everything there is to, to uh, deal with getting an internet line installed, managing it, doing the outage work, uh, basically being your, your partner there, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So uh, do yourself uh, a good favor here, find a good Sherpa if you're gonna uh, do SD-WAN.